Hi, I'm Brittany, and if you need to know anything about me, it's that I love books. Big books, small books, long books, and most importantly, free books. Like, seriously, I hit up my local library at least twice a week because buying books these days straight from the bookstore can be really expensive. However, I've recently discovered the book sections at thrift stores, and when books are literally like $1.50, I mean, come on, you gotta do it. And that brings us to today. I'm going on a major book shopping spree to all the local thrift stores today to see what books we can find. Let's go. We are here at our first thrift store. This is called Deseret Industries, but people in Utah, we just call it the DI. Basically the same thing as Goodwill. We just don't really have Goodwill here in Utah. So there are so many of them all over the valley. So I'm actually gonna go to three different ones today because they all have different stuff since it's all just stuff that was donated. Although we're not guaranteed to find anything specific at the thrift store, I'm really looking for something in the Hunger Games series, the Lord of the Rings series, Harry Potter series, or anything written by Emily Henry. number two. Okay, we just got to the third and final DI of the day. Okay, we are at a new thrift store now. This one's called Savers. I think this one is pretty universal. They have them, I think, in most states. But what's different about this one in particular, I'm actually in a really nice part of Utah Valley where I live. It's called Draper. And Draper is where the rich people live. And for example, like in this parking lot, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to you know, show people's license plates, but I'm sitting next to a Mercedes and then there's a BMW right in front of me as well. So I'm hoping, I'm very hopeful that we'll find some good books here in really good condition. Um, and hopefully like some newer ones. We'll see, we'll see what we can find. Their book section is actually quite large. And if you buy four books, you get a fifth one free. So that's nice. Okay, you guys already hit the jackpot. So they actually have the Uglies, Pretties and Extras series here. Um, I actually did find Uglies at a different store. Um, so I might put this one back. But I love how they all, they're all here. I need to find specials because I think that's actually, I think it's ugly, pretty specials. Extras, maybe not. Anyway, awesome. I've also found four out of the seven Harry Potter books already and I'm only half a shelf in. So I'm hopeful for that. That'd be awesome. Okay, Savers did come in clutch. We found a lot of Harry Potter. We found another series that I had been like really looking for. So really glad that we came out here. I have one more bookstore to go to. We'll head over there now. I am getting a little hungry and I am starting to, I think, get a little bit of a headache because I haven't really eaten much today. So I got Chick-fil-A, of course. Of course, you have to do it. Kids meal, did they give me a toy? I think they actually gave me a little toy. Wait a second. Oh, shut up, they gave me a book. They gave me a kid's book. Totally on theme with the video too. I love that. All right, great. Honestly, the real star Chick-fil-A sauce, it always is, it always hits. Fry, waffle fry, mm. Okay, we have made it to what is becoming my very favorite bookstore, Second and Charles. Everything here is for the most part pretty much used. They do have quite a few like brand new options available as well, but this I think will be our best bet to finding the rest of the series, everything, and maybe even some more recent releases. So let's go in. We're back and broke. Kidding, we're not broke because we bought 27 books for just over $50 on this book thrifting haul. I'm so excited to show you guys everything. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I've got two stocks. So the first one, we'll start with this one. So I found this series at the DI. Um, there's six, no, there's five books in the series. I got the first three, I think. I mean, I'm assuming that the other two are probably there as well. I couldn't find them when I was there, but maybe I'll go back. It's actually the next day, so maybe I'll go back today and look for them. 
Um, but this is by Lauren Kate and it is the Fallen series. And I just, I've heard really good things about this. I've never really looked into it too much. I think it's a fantasy because it talks about angels and like demons and stuff. So we'll see. But I got the first three books. We got Fallen, we got Torment, and we also got Passion. And all of these were $2. So super awesome. And on the back, it shows that the original price was $11. So saved nine bucks on each of these which was super great let's kind of go down this pile i guess so the next one on here is the Su the secret life of bees by sue monk kid i actually have zero clue what this is about but my mom has been really obsessed with bees lately and i've i feel like i've heard about this book recently it's also a new york times bestseller so i wanted to grab this it was a dollar 50 figured why not another book that i also have zero zero clue what it's about is called number one ladies detective agency by alexander mccall smith this one was also a dollar and i think it's well it's obviously like a mystery novel like a detective agency type thing but the it, the front really appealed to me it's it's super interesting it kind of looks like like native american potentially or even even just like older like old school um like huts so yeah not really sure what it's about but hopefully it's good another one that i had heard of i know that reese witherspoon i'm pretty sure was in a movie this movie but this is called water for elephants um it also was a new york times bestseller so this is by sarah Gren. anyway thought it was interesting and then i also got two books from people from um some like i feel like really classic well-known really well-known um, writer. So the first one is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. I have never read this, but I've heard of it again. So many people have talked about it. So it was two dollars figured I might as well pick this up. And then I also got a F. Scott Fitzgerald book, The Great Gatsby. This was just a dollar. I have read this many times and I love it. And so I just thought I might as well just pick it up just for my own personal enjoyment. You can actually get through this book so fast. It's only 180 pages. So then I found one of my favorite auth authors, Lisa Jewell. I'm actually reading Am I reading one of her books right now? Let me let me look if this is the same author. Yes, I'm reading, I'm currently reading None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. That's like a really popular one. So this is the same author um, and it's called The Family Upstairs. And this was just $2. So because I've read many Lisa Jewell books before, I knew that I would probably like it. She usually writes fun like thriller novels. Okay, the next book I found was called The Snow Child. This is by Owen Ivy. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this one was probably the most expensive one. From the di it's three dollars i wasn't really sure i kept going back and forth on this book but the back just looked like it had really good reviews everyone was saying that it was super touching so again don't know what it's about there's that these are actually the first three books that i found when we did our book shopping like the first three books that i found total so these are from the mysterious benedict society which is a show that it used to be on disney plus but they actually took it off um recently but i really really liked it so there's three books in this series at least that I found. There might be more, but I only found the first three, but we have Mysterious Benedict Society. We have the Mysterious Benedict Society and the Perilous Journey, which is right here. And then we also have the Mysterious Benedict Society and the Prisoner's Dilemma. So got all three of these. These are more like, I would say, child well, I don't know if they're children's books necessarily because it was a children's show, but I'm excited to actually read them now that I have seen the show. So hopefully, these will be good and they were again three dollars each which is a great deal moving on to our second stack now we i potentially have found a huge gem like a huge gem this is the christmas carol by charles dickens if you guys can see here it was a dollar fifty however when i opened it up like i saw that it was really pretty it has like the really pretty like gold foil on it with the crest and the pages are also gold foiled which i thought was really nice but then i opened it up and the pages are definitely yellowed, which means they're old, which I'm kind of thinking that means that maybe the gold foil is like actually legit. And I started looking through it and it's beautiful. I mean, it's it's absolutely stunning, this book. And I was like, well, maybe this is like a special edition or something. So I actually was searching it on Google and I found a Reddit thread which linked to a authentic like antique website and they were selling a green Charles Dickens. Like it was like a special edition, but this had actually been worn off on it and it was selling for $500. I don't know if this book is worth $500. This might just be like a knockoff, but the fact that it's like really yellowed on the inside, I think makes it to me seem like this book is really old. There is a rare book collector that does appraise books. So I'm actually gonna take this in and see what he can say about it. The problem I'm having is that I cannot find, there's not like a copyright page in here with a copyright date. I like having Christmas Carol. I like reading that every year for Christmas. So that's why I grabbed it. And again, it was $1.50. So if it's actually worth something, then then I feel like I totally robbed the place. Like honestly, I, I that would be amazing. 
Next up, I found five of the seven Harry Potter books. This is the first book I think I got, yeah, I got this one from Savers. I think I got four of these from Savers for like $2 each. And then I got this one from Second and Charles. This one was $7. They actually did have the other, like the last two books as well, but they weren't on sale. They were all like still like $18 to $35 each. So still got the first five, which I think is a great, you know, still a great win. And for the most part, they're in pretty decent condition. I felt like I was very successful in this. Okay, and then on to the Ugly series. I did talk about this when I was searching for books. I found the first book, Uglies, at the DI again for $2, but they didn't have any of the other books there. So I decided to keep looking. And at um, Savers, I found the Pretties, which is the second book in the series for $2.50. And then I also found Extras, which is the last book in the series, which is $2.50. And then at Second and Charles, I found the third book in the series, Specials, and this one was $3. So I haven't read these in a long time. I probably, I do want to read them again because I really did like them when I was a teenager. So. And then already we're down to our final three books. So let's talk about the first one. The first one is The ha Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. This one I got for $1.50, super, super good deal. And I wanted to get this one because I, I have been trying to do this thing in the morning when I wake up, I do my Bible study and then I try to read a chapter of like a nonfiction book or like a self-help book or something. Right now I'm currently doing Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis, I believe. But I knew that when I finished that book, I wanted to read this one. So I'm gonna have to either order it myself or I could find it at a thrift store. And I'm so glad I did for $1.50. The next one was Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This one I got again from Second and Charles, I think for $7. So a little bit more expensive than all the other books actually but that's okay because it was it's in amazing i mean it's in literally amazing condition it looks like it's brand new i love emily henry i love all of her books this one's actually probably my least favorite book of hers that i have read but regardless i still wanted to get it because i love emily henry i wanted to like have a collection of her books because i think that they're really good romance reads they are a little bit more spicy if you know what i mean so i try to like skip those chapters but what's nice about her books is that the books don't revolve around that they're really good romance novels anyway the last book that i got was from the di this one is a dollar 50 and this is the fault in our stars by john green and if you guys remember like i don't know seven years ago when this like first came out it was so huge the movie was amazing the book was amazing i remember reading it and crying and loving it and so i just wanted to pick it up again and i didn't realize until I was actually putting the book in my bag after I had purchased it that they, somebody actually, they've marked it with their name already, but that's fine. That's what happens when you get secondhand books. Um, so whoever had the last one of me, I'm, I now have your book. And whenever I get a library one day and I get more bookshelves, I'm just so excited to be able to like start like filling it in and having different genres. You know, like I have my Harry Potter, which is like a wizarding fantasy world. I have my thrillers with, you know, Lisa Jewell and my like classics with, you know, the Great Gatsby and Ender's Game and the Christmas Carol and I have romance and I have, you know, I just have, I have so many different genres now and so many different types of books that I'm so excited to start reading. If you guys were counting, you probably counted 26 books. The last book I got was a Spanish journal, like a, uh, or not journal, a Spanish dictionary um, because my brother's going on a mission for our church and he's going to be speaking Spanish. So I, I found that for $2. I decided to get that for him as well. Whew, okay, so that was a lot. I spent... $59 but I went ahead earlier today and counted like I looked at the price of every single one of these books like what it was originally and I added them all up and it was over $350 I think total it was $358 crazy you guys absolutely literally insane thrifting is such a fun activity I think it's a really great way to also stay sustainable you aren't spending as much money you're giving everything a second life so overall very successful trip very happy for this I want to do more thrifting videos so if you guys like this type of videos make sure to comment down below let's see comment a shopping cart emoji because that's what we did today we did a ton of shopping but anyway that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next one very soon. Bye!